Hi everyone and happy Pi Day and happy GPT-4 release day as well. You might have heard that the newest version of GPT dropped today. This is the official blog post about it. They also did a developer demo live stream on YouTube and I'll link all of that below, but I just want to give you a summary of the highlights that I got from that. Now, disclaimer, this has only been out for a few hours. I don't have any kind of special access, but I'll show you what I've learned so far. As far as how you get access to play with version four, if you're a chat GPT plus user, that's the paid version that's currently available in many parts of the world. In the US, it's $20 per month, and I have that. So if you do, just go to chat.openai.com, and now at the top, you'll notice that you can select your different versions. So GPT-4 is what came out today. Now, potential gotcha, if you were already logged in earlier today before this came out, you might need to log out and then log back in. I had to do that. But the rest of the experience is the same, except on the back end, it's using the latest APIs. This version is smarter and much better at handling complex questions. There's some really great examples of that in the blog. I'll give you just one, though, similar to what they showed in the demo today. So in honor of Pi Day, let's just head out to Wikipedia, and I'll just copy the bulk of this text here. And then we'll go back to ChatGPT. We'll drop it in here. And then we'll say, summarize this article using words that start with M. Now to show you that version four is smarter, I'm gonna first run this with 3.5, which is what I have selected now. So I'll hit enter. So it's summarized, but it didn't take into account that request to only use words that start with an M. So let's open up a new chat. And this one, we will use version four. And I'll drop in that same text. And there's a few words in there that don't start with M, Pi Day, obviously, but you can see the big difference there. It's much smarter on these more complicated requests. We can also say, now write a poem about the article. And here we go, a poem about Pi Day. Not bad. If you're finding this helpful so far, I'd super appreciate you hitting that like button to help it spread to more people. Thank you so much. All right, so that's one way that you can interact with this latest version just through this regular ChatGPT interface. But if you're a developer, you might be wondering about the playground. So let's head over here to platform.openai.com and then the playground tab. This gives you the ability to fine tune your prompts and you can also use some of these presets here that are optimized for different AI problems. For this one, we wanna use chat completion. So over here under mode, choose chat. This is just in beta, but you will notice that the latest model available is just 3.5 turbo. So to interact with the APIs back here on platform.openai.com, you will need to get on a wait list. I added myself to that earlier today and got an email confirmation just basically saying that I'm in line for access. I'm not totally sure how long it's going to take for them to work through that list, but I've left a link in the description below if you want to get on the wait list. So I won't be able to show you the working part of this end to end, but I'll at least show you the idea behind the playground and then make sure you stick around for some of the image functionality that will hopefully be available soon. It's super cool. Here on the left, you're basically giving the assistant more context or more information about what kind of an assistant they are, the expertise they have, and basically what to do with the prompts as they're coming in. So we can say you're an AI programming assistant, follow the user's requirements, write pseudocode, then write a block of code, and minimize any other pros. I'm stealing this as an example from the developer demo. And then over here on the right, you give your instructions. And during the demo today, they entered instructions here. This is a super summarized version, but basically we're saying, go write a Discord bot using GPT-4 to read images and text. Now GPT-4 has also been trained on data only through the end of 2021, just like GPT-3. So this doesn't actually have the information about how to read images. And also the Discord APIs have changed quite a bit in the last couple of years as well, since it received that training data. But no worries, because what you can do is just feed that information to it right here. In real time, here's the specifications for chat completion, here's how you read images, and it will basically learn on the fly, so it's not a problem that the training data was older. So if I had access to the APIs, I could go through, run these prompts, it would output some code for me, I can spin up the Discord bot and then interact with it. 
in the demo they showed a couple of examples of where it had an error and basically you can just take the error message paste it back into the conversation here and it will correct itself and write new code for you which is super super useful and even more cool if it gets any cooler is this whole ability to work with images at all as you probably know gpt is a large language model meaning it's only worked on text but with gpt4 you can now give it images as input Caveat though, this part is still in preview, so you can't do this right now either. But once this is available, you could do something like going to our Discord bot. I could say, what is funny about this image? Upload the image. Send this back to the GPT-4 APIs, and it will tell you what's funny about this picture. Now, as humans, obviously, we can look at this. We know what it is. We know why it's funny. But for AI to be able to do that is actually super impressive. You can also ask it to describe an image that you upload, that type of thing. But perhaps the most impressive part of the demo, they saved the best for last, is that you can take a hand sketched drawing of a website, for example, something like this. I know it's beautiful. A web page I might have on a site for coffee. You can upload this and GPT-4 will actually write HTML, CSS, JavaScript, turn this hand sketched image into an actual website. Again, that isn't out for public use yet, but it's pretty mind-blowing that we should be able to do that pretty soon. So that's it for the highlights. Check out the full blog post and video, and definitely keep watching this space. Things are moving fast, and it's super exciting. Also, consider subscribing for more bite-sized videos like this about today's tech. Thank you so much for watching.